Uh, this not really a sport, but a competition. Joey Chestnut and Kobayashi, the top dogs of their competitive of the competitive eating world, are ready to eat in the same arena for the first time since 2009. Question: Yes, what was the story yesterday that I couldn't care less about, but all of a sudden now I have to know about it. So Joey, Chestnut, Joey Chestnut was disqualified from a different one, right? Well, so from the well, Nathan's hang, world, hang on, we'll go to our uh, eater. Uh, Gio. Gio. Yes. I, I love, I'm a big Joey Chestnut fan. Yes. I was devastated to hear the news that he will not compete in the Nathan's hot dog eating contest, but they told him he can, not right? He was in trouble. For something. Well, what happened was he, signed an endorsement deal with vegan hot dogs. Right. Oh. And I guess part of uh, major league eating and Nathan's is you're not allowed to endorse other products. Uh. So they banned him from the Nathan's competition. <laughs> yeah. Which is insane. That's ridiculous. The only reason you, people watch is for Joey Chestnut. Right. But, but he also, knows the rules. If them's yeah. the rules, them's the well, rules. Yeah. He says he was not under contract with uh, major league eating. Oh. Yeah. oh. So I guess it's, it's what side you believe, yeah. but the fact that he's endorsed, he signed a deal with this uh, vegan hot dog company to promote them and <laughs> gotcha. you know, they kicked him out. So now, so the uh, two eating icons who have uh, won a combined 22 mustard belts at the Nathan's <laughs> famous <laughs> hot dog right. eating contest will face off in an all beef hot dog battle against each other on September 2nd, an event that'll be streamed by Netflix. Yeah. I saw uh, huge. The location for the vet event has not been determined. That's yet. Pr- such a brilliant move. Yeah. Netflix Net- is so smart. So yeah. Ko- Kobayashi was, you know, the, the big rivalry yeah. sure, years yeah. and years. The reason he has not been in the Nathan's contest for all these years was same thing. They would not let him endorse any other deals. Right. So it was like, you can eat, it's either here or nowhere. So he's like, well, screw you. I'll go try and make money elsewhere because you won't let me sign any other endorsement deals except with you. Yeah. That's why he hasn't been in it for years. And Joey Chestnut has been like, you know, uncontested. Yeah. The champion. I have to call foul on something. Hmm. You've seen Kobayashi before. Yes. (laughs) One year. And I'll tell you that year was, uh, 2000 no you it was the year you came yeah what year was 2007 that? I seven yeah because joey was born already 2007 the rays had a fan fest or some sort of thing that we had to go to oh back when we knew him back when we were friends yeah. and kobayashi was there and galvin and i took a picture with him he didn't speak english he sat there people took pictures with him I'm convinced that was a fake Kobayashi. Yeah. <laughs> it looks just, nothing like just some Japanese dude. Like yeah. 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 It looks nothing like <laughs> Kobayashi does. And I know he changes his look up, but yeah. I'm a hundred percent convinced. I'm going to find that picture, Galvin. Yeah, I'm a hundred percent convinced that that was fake Kobayashi. Now, mm-hmm. when you took the picture, did somebody say this is Kobayashi? You don't know. Oh, it was yeah. like he a big attraction. Like, yeah. He was. He was. Uh, <laughs> you guys should just find some guy. No, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was the big get. Like, okay. come meet Kobayashi, right. the yeah. eating okay. champion, and, and all, we sat next to him and we did this like stuffed belly photos yeah and uh and he did it with us you know but he didn't speak any english and then then the next year he showed up at the nathan's thing with blonde hair and and i looked at him and i go that's not the guy we met and mm-hmm. Galvin's like i think it's because his hair is blonde like oh okay whatever <laughs> then i looked at more pictures i'm like i don't think so i don't think so <laughs> i think that we got a fake kobayashi yeah. Yeah. counterfeit kobayashi yeah. we've been scammed <laughs> this is the match everybody's wanted to see for years yeah this everybody is, yeah everybody this is gonna be uh, huge joey chestnut grosses me out yeah everything about him <laughs> grosses me out teeth and yeah, yeah oh. he's like the one guy in your neighborhood that is always loud and uh you know he's the one who gets drunk first at the barbecue like he reminds me of that guy I, mm. I, I love it. I love watching. Well, it. I love watching. It's, I don't like Joey Chestnut. He's yeah. not my guy. No, he's I used my to guy. like the toad. Listen, you're, there's Brady, <laughs> Jordan, <laughs> Chestnut. Yeah. Yeah. All the greats. All the greats. Yeah. Ches- <laughs> you know that. Well, you're right. Because if they were going to make a logo like they did with Jerry West, they'd have to use Joey Chestnut. 100%. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, we had a guy on the on the show that went by Toad. And he's a he's a competitive eater. He's in the, he's every year I see him at the Fourth oh, of July. Yeah, and, yeah. And um, I wanted to endorse. Uh, I wanted to buy advertising on his shirt, and I went through and and the whole thing. And then they said no. They really? Said, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Pro- probably because of that. Well, they he didn't say no. The uh, the food the major league. Yeah, did, yeah. Because uh, because some of them have like things on their shirts and patches and right. stuff. And I wanted to get it on Stoney's shirt. 
it seems like the major league eating, they won't pay the people. So they're trying to go out and make other money and they won't, you know, that's why they're, I don't know what the, what, what, like, so if what's they, the benefit of that, yeah, they should all just union or organize and yeah. become a food eating union. Well, the only people that are probably getting endorsed is there are draw are the ones like the Joey chestnuts, the, the big names. Yeah. But like, so if I'm a small business and I want to be involved in this somehow, like if I'm Heinz or if I'm yeah. not that they're a small business, but if I'm a small business and I want to like Bill's hot sauce, and I want to, well, then I'm going to go for one of the, uh, the lower tier guys that I could afford, yeah. get him, and then make such a big deal about it. How, how he becomes the underdog, mm-hmm. you know, like guess, what Nate, what's Nathan's problem with well, everybody else? You know what I mean? Well, they're the official hot dog of major. Right. Eating, and they don't so want the vegan hot dog. Yeah. Mix right. There. So I understand not being able to be endorsed by like another hot dog or a vegan brand, but sauce or another food, chicken, handsome you, radio guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like what's the problem with you just may- being endorsed by anybody? You may have to pay them as well. Right. So not only paying the person you're, you know, that's going to endorse you, but to pay the eating company, the contest. That was the thing with Stoney is that also they said it wasn't enough money. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, it's like $1,200. I'm I'm ready to pay for it. Well, Mm -hmm. I think the major league eating was going to pay Chestnut like $2 million or something over like three years to be just exclusive. And I think he could make more money. With the vegan dogs or yeah. whatever their endorsements yeah. and stuff. Vegan dogs. So this is it's it's American tragedy. 